the demonic presence is everywhere. Urging and agitating people towards anger, towards impatience, towards every type of bad characteristic. And they are just merely avatars and puppets of demons agitating people to attack each other. And the only thing that destroys them is the good characteristic so that Allah save us. Our life is many different realities and and secrets from awliyaullah's teachings that open every type of ni'mat and barakah and blessing. And a reminder from our teachings and Mawlana Shaykh's teachings, Pharaoh did many things wrong. And Nabi Musa kept asking Allah to destroy him, to bring down his authority and to finish him. And with every test and every difficulty and every trial and tribulation upon Pharaoh, what finally brought him was na shukri, to not be thankful to Allah Not his guna and his sins only, because Nabi Musa kept saying, destroy him and then horrible tests would come, horrible difficulties would come. And they're teaching what destroyed Pharaoh in which Allah said, bas it's enough, he's, he's finished his nation is finished, is that he was eating and he had a habit always of taking the crumbs and finishing everything. Shaitan said, what kind of pharaoh are you that you're eating like that when you're you know king of kings, take it and wipe it off the table like that, throw it on the floor. And as a result of throwing Allah's ni'mat onto the floor, Allah said, that's it, his time is finished, his kingdom in. We all have to worry about, are we showing Allah in every action of our life that we're thankful? We're, we are a people whom only complain and criticize. As Salaamu Alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshaAllah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content inshaAllah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels and donate. Every bit helps. JazakAllah Khair and we will return to the program. This is a school of manners. You're teaching Muhammadan realities that nobody hears these things. Why aren't there at least 3,000 likes if 4,000 watched it? Not even 3,000 appreciated it, liked it, commented on it because everyone always thinks someone else will do that, let someone else do that. But you don't have to worry about somebody else. If you can hear a haqqaiq and find a problem and something in the sound, the echo, the production and you miss the whole forest, the whole beauty. And there are people whom they love it and they never click to say anything of a shukr to show Allah that they're content, that they're happy. But thank you for guiding me Ya Rabbi. Because if you're not doing it with this haqqaiq, you're not doing it in any aspect of your life. Because whatever you do, you do in everything. If you're a shukr and thankful person, you thank Allah in everything, Ya Rabbi thank you for this ni'mah. Thank you for the food I have, thank you for the car I drive, thank you for the pay that you give to me, thank you for the health of my children. Even they're not healthy. Thankful for the condition they're in that they didn't go worse. Even when it's not enough money it could be worse, everything can always go down. And Allah said, thank me and I give you more. So 
then Allah's criteria is be thankful. Thank Allah Ya Rabbi thank you I got this knowledge. Thank you I love Sayyidina Muhammad and I got to hear something about the love of Sayyidina Muhammad If you're kind enough to be thankful to the video, thankful for the broadcast, thankful for the people whom putting all of this together and struggle and sacrifice every day to be of service. Then you'll carry this teaching from this teacher into a thankfulness for everything you do. Thankful for the work you have, the pay that you get, thank you for the children you have. Mawlana Shaykh used to say, don't ever complain about your children, Allah will take them away. You'll have a house empty with nothing to complain about. But take their clothes when you wash it and kiss it. However they're bothering you, alhamdulillah they're here and that noise and that bother adds the whole flavour and fruit of my life. Prophet Allah should listen to you and say, I love you and you're complaining about them, I'll just take them out of your life. And how everything would be so regretful. And that's the sign of, of barakah in life that when we're not thankful, there's no barakah in anything we do. Why Allah ask you to make your shahada? Why entering into Islam the first pillar is to make your shahada? Allah knows what your faith is or what it's not. So why is the first usul to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa habibuhu wa rasuluhu? Why? Allah doesn't know what you believe, He's the one who gave you belief. Even say that on your tongue, you can't mention Allah without even Allah's permission. Said, I don't allow them to mention my name in their home. Allah knows that He's giving you permission to mention it, but He wants you to mention and you to hear. You hear what you're saying. And every time you recite your shahada, you hear what you're saying? There is nothing but Allah and Muhammadun Rasulullah is the messenger of Allah nothing in my life. There's nothing in my life of any importance other than Allah and His beloved Sayyidina Muhammad So it's so important that Allah make this first step into the entryway of Islam is repeat for yourself every day, even call the azan. To repeat to yourself the words, come to success, come to prayer. You think you say, nobody else is in the room. Later you'll learn, oh there are angels in the room, there are jinn in the room, there are many mu'min beings in the room. But you didn't know that at first. But Allah wanted us to recite it, to remind myself that don't leave me to myself for a blink of an eye. Whatever deficiency we have, whatever sins we have, whatever difficulties we have, the only thing saving us is good character. You can have a mountain of sins but you put a heart and say, I love Sayyidina Muhammad thank you for this video. And Ya Rabbi shukr, thank you. Not the man with the beard, we don't care what he says but I thank Allah that you gave me this ability to see this, to hear this and to increase my love of Sayyidina Muhammad And I make a vow and I may do that and I have the best of character. We said, what saved the magicians of Pharaoh? With all of their evilness, all of their wickedness that nobody could kill more than them. You couldn't do enough crime on this earth to compare yourself to what these magicians were doing. They peeled the skin off of people in punishment and torture. You can't imagine who they were and what their, their, their amal was. But when they came in the presence of the Messenger of Allah Nabi Musa and they merely asked in Ayatul Qur'an, Ya Musa you throw or we throw?
Their magic became big huge demons. He threw his asa and immediately they believed. Why would they believe? Because they had a, they had a respect, Allah opened yaqeen in an instant. They showed a respect for a messenger of Allah Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers, as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android. As heavenly beings, we are on an eternal pursuit of angelic power. This book invites the seeker to attune to the guides of heavenly knowledge and discover the essential techniques we need to acquire to increase our positive energy within. In Pursuit of Angelic Power, available now on Amazon.com. You can have a mountain of sins, but if you have good character and good adab, it's but one second that Allah open your heart. So then tariqah is all about that one adab. When they want to know what is adab, what do you say, your parents are learning, what are you talking, these people talking about manners. The whole of Qur'an is based on that reality. Ask them, how did the magicians of Pharaoh believe in Nabi Musa and believed at such a level of certainty that Pharaoh said, I'm going to quarter you, I'm going to cut you to pieces on a cross, I pull all your skin off until you repent from what you did. He said, whatever you do to us, in Allah Musa Rasulullah. They went deeper into the yaqeen. Yaqeen that most people if you would scare them at that time they say, we're sorry we, we recant our belief, we don't want to, I'm not going to put my hijab beard, I'm not, not, I'm Muslim, I'm not Muslim anymore, I'm going to hide my, my Islam. What kind of belief they had? Whatever you do to me, I'm with Allah So The tariqah comes and teaches that everything is based on manners. If outside people are coming and see that, where's the manners if this is such a school of manners? Why 4,000 people watching and but a hundred people are, 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 are giving a comment or saying, great, then the other 3,900 must be in a difficult life. And no difficulty will be solved, no rizq will come, nothing if, if, if we're not showing thankfulness to Allah and if you think thankfulness to every aspect of your life but not to the Muhammadan reality, then definitely your coordinates are mixed up. That's why the tariqah comes and show with the Muhammadan reality, show the highest of respect. Train yourself, discipline yourself, you will carry that as a Muhammadan ambassador into everything you do. You kiss your father's hand, you talk with respect to everywhere you go because you're an ambassador of Muhammadun Rasulullah and you exhibit the best of character so that Allah always feels, I'm very happy with this servant. Whatever condition I put the servant in always has the best of respect and best of character. And as a result every fires and emanation begin to move to that servant. this ihtiram and this respect, that is the door that opens everything, every blessing. For what does Allah need any of your salah? Say, oh I pray a lot, pray a lot but you have manners that are not correct, they're not soft, they're not polite. What Allah needs that salah? Then people don't understand, they say, oh he's shaykh saying don't pray. No, he's not saying that, he's saying that your prayers, we're trying to point out to you, your prayer has no value to Allah. The salah itself is big deal. 
who cares? You're praying with money in your pocket, thinking of your bank account, thinking of every type of filthy thing you looked at. You think Allah is impressed by this salah? But if your prayer made you to have good character, and someone yell at you and you go back to being peaceful, go back to trying to make peace. Allah loves the peacemaker and continuously trying to put everybody back, not to let people to burn in their own anger and their own ignorance. What muslihoon, the one who makes peace within his family, within his community, with himself and with his Lord in every aspect of his life. This good character is what saves us. When Allah is happy, He opens the heart, angels come to the heart, every fire comes to the heart. Ya Rabbi grant me your istighfar, Ya Rabbi grant me a najat, Ya Rabbi grant me from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad that he take my case and that he intercede for me for all my wrongdoing. Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem as you witness to what I'm asking, what I'm in need for, intercede for me and take my case to Allah And in dunya if you find somebody who's Muhammadiyoon, you ask them also, make du'a for me to show that I'm humble person, make du'a for me that Allah grant me a najat, grant me a salvation. And all of tariqah comes to teach that reality. Sayyidina Zakariya in Qur'an is teaching us, all his life he prayed and he's a prophet of Allah 99 years his du'a wasn't accepted. In charge of their temple, their most holiest location, went into a maqam of a woman and in the maqam his heart was, was clean enough to see there's a miracle here. Immediately asked Allah Ya Rabbi, by the grace of this miracle I'm seeing, as soon as he was making du'a Sayyidina Jibreel appeared before him, your du'a is accepted by Allah So locations can be holy, you're not praying to the saint at that maqam, but by the virtue of being at that maqam and what that saint has been dressed with by Divinely Presence, Allah is there. Why Allah said, I'm with Nabiin, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin, and that's the best of company. It means the light of Prophet must be at these maqams. The light of Ashab and Nabi, Ahlul Bayt and Nabi, all awliya Allah fi samai wa fil ard because they're following Sayyidina Muhammad and who, who's with them? Allah's with them. So there must be immense lights there. So if the maqam of Sidna Maryam was holy, what about the Muhammadiyoon? You just enter the maqam and your du'as, of course they're all accepted by Allah and those only Allah are interceding and asking Allah Ya Rabbi they may be not having the same maqam, grant them, grant them what they're in need of, not what they want. You may want something that harms you, grant them what they're in need of Ya Rabbi. Mostly grant them the light and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and that light to reach them in their qabr because they may ruin it in the dunya. Shaitan may steal it from them but it's held in a reserve as a trust. That when you pass from this life, say that maqam you visited, that wali you visited, here's the lights he's bestowed upon. Medina that you visited, here's the lights of Sayyidina Muhammad they're going to be bestowed upon you. You think these things are lost? A grain of rice Allah said is not left from his accounting. Imagine then the visiting of these holy maqams, what lights will be dressed upon us? Why you want them here for shaitan to steal them? You need them on Yawm al mashar when you're raised and petrified from what Allah going to be accounting with. And Allah says, here are the gifts from all these maqams and all your beliefs. These awliya are dressing you and upon all of them now Sayyidina Muhammad is dressing you from these lights. Pray that Allah give us good prayer, these are difficulties.
Our only salvation is good manners. Keep showing as much as you can everywhere and everything the good manners so that Allah save us. Save us from a sickness coming our way, save us from any type of difficulty coming to ourselves, to our family, to our children, to our community inshaAllah. That Allah dress us and bless us for this holy month and these holy nights and days inshaAllah. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.